What's up my people? Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel. Click the top bell icon to get notified when there's anything new on the channel. So people, if you now see the option to like the video, click on the X on your right hand side and you're going to see the option. Right? So as usual people, I have some things I'm going to share with you guys. So let me get into the first thing. Manfred of Ant, D-E-A-T-H. A jury in St. Catherine Circuit Court today returned a not guilty verdict in a case of a man accused of K-I-L-L-I-N-G is Ant. The accused is Leon Lennon, a 37-year-old laborer of Portmore St. Catherine. Lennon was charged with the January 10, 2013 K-I-L-L-I-N-G of Pauline Manson, Justice Bertram Morrison directed the seven-member jury to return a not guilty verdict. During the trial, it was revealed that the accused physically assaulted Mason, Manson. Sorry, she reportedly fell during the incident. She later died from multiple injuries, including her spine. Lennon was subsequently arrested and charged with MURDER. He made numerous court appearances and maintained his innocence throughout. He was represented by attorney at law Tamika Harris. So people, this look like a some look of family fiction and a physical altercation go on and somehow this lady fall and end up lose her LIFE. Right? So the judge returned. The judge direct the jury to return a not guilty verdict. Look like said so the judge look into the case and see a boy accident or whatever. And just direct the jury to return it. So people, when it comes to cuss and fight and them something there, walk away from an argument before it escalate too far. Right? So we are gonna move on to our next article where we see them must say a next student got beaten up for step on a student shoes again people and this time is a female student that got beaten so let me share the article another student beaten after allegedly stepping on a schoolmate's shoes the saint and police says it's investigating the beating of a female student by six others at the steer academy on Monday after she allegedly stepped on the shoes of one of her schoolmates, commanding officer for the St. Anne Police Division, Senior Superintendent Dwight Powell, gave details on the incident. On Monday, October 2nd, 2023, about 2.30 p.m., a grade 7, 13-year-old female student of the Steertown Academy was physically assaulted by six other female students on the school compound. The information that we have suggests that sometime about 8 o'clock the said morning, the victim allegedly stepped on the shoe of one of the persons that assaulted her. The person that assaulted her indicated that she would deal with her case after school concluded. On the conclusion of the class, around 2.30 p.m., she was set upon by six students of the said school who physically assaulted her. SSP Powell say the student was beaten until she became unconscious. She was subsequently treated at the St. Bay Regional Hospital. The commanding officer says he will be working with the school to resolve the matter. The police were informed of this incident and immediately commenced investigation. We will be collaborating with the school with a view to see how best we can treat this matter in an appropriate way. So we'll be appealing to the students that are involved to make themselves available for the investigation to continue. So people may know the audio is kind of low, so kind of turn up your device a little to hear him clearly. So, let me read the rest. This incident follows a similar one last week in which a 14-year-old male student at the B.B. Coke High School in St. Elizabeth was beaten by a grade 11 male student. The 8th grader, Jaim Coleman, allegedly stepped on the, ele the 11th grader's clocks. So people, me sure say I know the first time 
that's something that happened in the school. Them. I just highlight that one, the highlight, and it opened my eyes to other things like this who are going on in a school. You see, me, I said, the youth, them where I go to school nowadays, me, I tell you, them, them, I, I pay a big man and big woman I go to school. You see me? So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So, we are going to move on to the next thing, you know, my people. Mother leans on faith after daughter is G-U-N down. Louise Pumbles Newland waited on her daughter Anik Walters to return to their Benbow Street home with a Sunday on Sunday night, something they usually enjoy each weekend. But minutes after 11 p.m., Newland received a call which eventually led to every mother's worst nightmare. The person say i should call my daughter's phone because she heard that the car that she was in got s-h-o-o-t up i called my daughter phone but i did not get her but when i call again someone answer it and say i must come by the hospital when i go to the hospital i see the doctor bring her earrings to me and i ask if she is d-e-a-d -E and he said yes newland said According to police reports, Walters, 32, and an unidentified male companion drove up in a black motor car on Orange Street in the vicinity of Orange Villa, Kingston, when they were pounced upon by armed men who fired at them, hitting Walters in the upper part of her body. The man was SHOT in his leg. As she sat in her yard, Newland, who is the People's National Party candidate for the Admiral Town Division in Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal, Municipal Corporation, said Walters was a very, very nice person. She was very loving and she was more than a daughter to me. She was my best friend and my everything. I got three children and now two of them gone left me, she said. Newland said she last spoke to Walters about 7 p.m. to ask if she was getting her Sunday. I asked if she want to use my car and she said no because she has a car already. I asked her if she wanted me to come and she said no. She is going to buy it and bring it back. And that was the last time I heard from her, she said. Walters, who was employed as a security supervisor, is among four women who were KILL in a 12-hour span within the corporate area and, span and St. Catherine. As she sat weeping among a group of supporters, Newland said she is relying on her faith to keep her strong. Everybody have a day and your day will come. The spot that them leave me in is only God alone going to help me out. But by the help of God, I am going to make it for her daughter and my only remaining child. They will bring strength to me. As a candidate, every time someone loses their loved ones, I would be here offering comfort. But I never know it was coming at my door, she said. Member of Parliament for St. Andrew South. Eastern Julian Robinson, who was among the supporters at Newland's Yard, described the attack on the woman as bloody. Crime is becoming closer and closer as Pumbles is a very beloved colleague of ours. We don't know the circumstances surrounding the MURDER, but it is just really tragic for any parent to lose their child in that way. It has been a very bloody 12 hours, Robinson said. Head of the Kingston Central Police Division, Superintendent Beresford Williams, said a suspect is currently in custody in relation to the incident. The person was taken into custody following information arising from the description of vehicle said to have been involved in the shooting. He was reportedly seen in that vehicle driving in a manner that would arouse the suspicion of the police okay so them have one person in custody right now my people and jano r.i.p to this female it look like say she had the wrong place at the wrong time you see me jaja so let me know what you guys think in the comment section and people like up the video for me please click the like button if you can't see the like button Click on the X where you see over on your right hand side and you're going to see the like button and just press the like button and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed yet and click the top bell icon 
so you can get notified when anything new is on the channel. So, in case you're not here by now, I'm supposed to did stream this for you guys today, but something come up that I could have streamed it. Seen? So, for those who don't know, you know what I mean? Stephanie Cole Christie, aka them call her Mama, she get nine years and ten months. You see what I say? So, because me did for streaming and me never get for streaming, me I go now update on that. You see me? So, moving right along, people. Trilani Man, S H O T D E A D, at shop. The Trilani police have commenced a probe into the M U R D E R of a man who was reportedly G U N down in his community by unknown assailants at a business establishment on Tuesday morning. The deceased has been identified as 31-year-old O'Brien Scarlett, also called Gavin, a laborer of Carib Road address in the parish. Reports are that about 8.05 a.m., Scarlett was sitting at the front of a shop in the community when he was sponsored upon by a group of GUN men who opened FIRE hitting him all over his body. Scarlett was taken to hospital where he was pronounced. His D-E-A-T-H brings the M-U-R-D-E-R tally in the parish to 12 since the start of the year. So R.I.P. to this man. Condolences to his family. I don't know who I'm involved in her because them says a group of man come for him. So it look like maybe he mixed up in a some something. You see it? So people, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So I go go and look at update like and the woman that was K I L L, right? She and her daughter. So is our picture this me I showing you right now, right? Mother and daughter G U N down Sophia German and Dominique Duhaney were described by their neighbor as a peas in a pod. Not only did they share a tight mother daughter bond, but they were hardly seen without each other. The women who were last seen by their neighbors on Sunday were said to be in high spirits. One neighbor even recalled hearing their van bring, um, being driven out of their driveway early yesterday morning. German and Duhaney unfortunately will never return to the comfort of their home and Carlisle close in Manly Meadows, Kingston as they were cut down in a hill of B-U-L-L-E-T-S outside the gates of the National Solid Waste Management Authority, Spanish Town Road facility. The mother lived here for decades and she is always seen with her little daughter who is probably about 20 years old. I think she may have another daughter but they usually stay to themselves and can be seen going out and coming in. We see them on Sunday and they seem happy, a woman told the news team. Head of the St. Andrew Police Division, Senior Superintendent Kirk Ricketts, said the lawmen are trying to ascertain a motive for the gruesome K-I-L-L-I-N-G and are seeking the public's assistance. It is reported that the two women, who are of a Kingston Eastern address, could often be seen on the location where they were attacked most mornings selling hot beverages and breakfast to truckers. The investigation is in its early stage and as such, we are unable at this time to comment on a motive for this incident. But the detectives are working assiduously to get to the bottom of this. We are imploring persons who may have information in regards to this incident to get in touch with the Unsbeer Criminal Investigation Branch, he said. Joman was also an employee at the NSWMA, Natalie Nita Garvey, the opposition spokesperson and local government and sports expressed dismay and condemnation regarding the ENOS MURDER of the two women. This tragic double homicide not only spotlights a grave disregard for human life in Jamaica, but also underscores an alarming trend of violence against Jamaican women. And them say how much women get cut down in a 12 hour couple well. You see what I say? So this is alarming, people. It's alarming. You know what I mean? So R.I.P. 
and condolences. So people, we are going to move on and we are going to give you an update upon the Beachy Stout trial, right? Beachy Stout gave me GUN and phones to throw away witness testify at MURDER trial. A former employee of Portland businessman Everton Beachy Stout McDonald this morning testified that he was instructed by his ex-boss to get rid of an illegal gun and to destroy six cell phones shortly after the MURDER of the businessman's wife. Two of the phones were purportedly McDonald's personal devices, while one reportedly belonged to Denverlin Bubbler Minot, a contract K-I-L-L-E-R, who has pleaded guilty to M-U-R-D-E-R in connection with the K-I-L-L-I-N-G of Tonya McDonald and was sentenced to 19 years and 10 months. Minot had testified that Beachy Stout promised to pay him three million dollar to m-u-r-d-e-r his wife but that he subcontracted another man to do the k-i-l-l-i-n-g the woman partially burned body was found with her throat s-l-a-s-h-e-d in her car which was set ablaze along the deserted road in sherwood forest in portland on july 20 2020 Beachy Stout and his co-accused Oscar Barnes are currently on trial for the alleged M-U-R-D-E-R of the 32-year-old businesswoman. The witness who described himself as McDonald's right-hand man testified that in the week following his wife's M-U-R-D-E-R, Beachy Stout gave him a G-U-N and said, Get rid of this. Me no have no need for this or something like that. The witness recalled McDonald saying, asked what he did, the witness replied, I put it in my knapsack and said, when me fit throw it, and him said, throw it over C. He admitted that he complied with his ex-boss order. The witness also gave details about the phones that he destroyed following Tonya's M-U-R-D-E-R. Asked how many, he said, I mash up two that E. McDonald gave Bobla and Bobla's original phone, one yellow, one that he had for himself and his black one that he always have and one that he bought for the shop to use. The witness told the court that he destroyed the first cell phone and the same night Tonya was M-U-R-D-E-R. Him just come, come downstairs the shop and just take out the chip and say, mash up this. The witness recalled. The witness also remembered collecting two phones from Bo- from Bobla within two weeks after Tonya's M-U-R-D-E-R and he destroyed them. Before that, he said McDonald told him that Bobla was going to bring the phones and that he should collect them and hand him a phone to give the man. According to him, when he collected the first phone and gave it to McDonald, he took out the chip and broke it and instruct him to destroy the phone. The witness said he used a stone to destroy one of the phones and that he set fire to some along the sea. According to the witness, he was never given any reason by McDonald's for destroying the phones. The witness further in his evidence said he later showed police where he had burned the phones and where he disposed of the illegal machine. He also said he showed the police where he and McDonald hid in a container with corrosive substance and also where he had also picked up a GUN at a nightclub and where he had returned one that was malfunctioning. All me can say people, beachy stout get where the duck get. I'm spreading bed him a few later on the night. You know what I mean? So that's how you get for your duck. You see me? And remember, you know, I know one witness them have against him, you know. They also have the man who did first contract for do the damage, you know. That the man, they were them sentenced for 19 and plus year. Him, a state evidence from Beachy Stout, to, you know. So it not pretty for him. And the one who named Oscar Barnes, as for him, me no know what go on for him. But he married on something, so... If him can prove him innocence, him good to go. 
But I'll know me not hear none of the witnesses them say anything about him. So maybe a beach is thought I forgot to sink him and I don't think beach is thought I go sink him. So make we see what go on people. So there was a robbery my people seen and them take two mil security guard SHOT rob of two million dollars. More than two million them say, yeah. So let me get into it, my people. A security guard transporting money was robbed, SHOT, and injured by a GUN man at, in, at the intersection of Fustic Road and Lower Bevin Avenue in Montego Bay, St. James, on Tuesday morning. The 54-year-old guard, who is from the parish, has since been admitted to hospital, the police have reported. Reports reaching our news team are that around 9 a.m., the guard was en route to Scotia Bank from a wholesale with cash lodgement amounting to more than 2.5 mil. Police said the security guard was approached by a man armed with a GUN who SHOT the guard in the right side of his neck and stole the money before escaping on foot in the area. Residents assisted the guard to the hospital where he was admitted in serious but stable condition, the police said. So people, one guard, one security guard, a transport more than 2.5 mil. Come on, man. We see them something here happening in a St. James over and over again. And we see it happen nationwide over and over again. Uh, just the other day, them can up five person and take two big crocus bag of money. See? And them I make one security guard transport over 2.5 mil. No, man. Them, them persons, yeah, where uh, do them thing, yeah, are uh, cheap, them cheap, you know. You can't make one security guard. And them are rob the brings them so hard. And you make one security guard. Thank the Almighty. Say the security is still alive. Thank to the Almighty. Over 2.5 mil the man of transport. And I'm alone. Yo, them need to stop them thing. And I can bet you see I want Chinese. I can bet you say. I want Chinese supermarket in my transport the money them from. Them Chinese, yeah, them, them, them cheap, you know, people. Come on, you can't ramp with people life like that, Virgin. You can't ramp with people life like that, Star. So people, an update on Philip Paulwell, um, daughter and girlfriend. So them say, them are make some strides. The police, them say, them are make some strides in the investigation and you know what I mean them no want to talk about it too much you see it so on a stick around and stay tuned and make sure so you subscribe so as soon as there's an update on that me I go make one know you see me so like people and subscribe to the channel and click the top bell icon to get notified when there's anything new on the channel so bless up on yourself and thanks for watching